North Carolina Republicans have shown their displeasure with our state's senior U.S. Senator. Tom Tillis was recently censured by members of his own party for how he has voted on certain issues. And tonight we are asking, by the time he's up for re-election, will it even matter? North Carolina has lost In his second term, Tom Tillis has emerged as a go-to senator when it comes to helping negotiate deals between the parties to get legislation across the finish line. That includes gun legislation, funding to promote safer and more inclusive school environments, and gay marriage. But delegates at this past weekend's state GOP convention showed their displeasure by censuring their fellow Republican. Does it matter? Mitch Kokai with the conservative John Locke Foundation says probably not. The practical impact is almost nothing. I mean, he's less than halfway through his Senate term, and by the time there's a re-election in 2026, no one's going to remember what the Republican Party did at its convention in 2023. Senator Tillis explained his decision on the gay marriage issue last September. One is that now there's nearly a million people who are in uh, same-sex marriages who are reliant on some constancy. Uh, they reacted when the Supreme Court made the decision, and uh, we can't tear apart uh, spouses. We can't tear apart spouses with families, and we have to recognize that um, that their condition is something that has changed dramatically since 10 years ago. UNC political scientist Mark Hetherington. The position, say, on um, LGBT rights that um, Senator Tillis has is very common it's it's the average person's opinion on these types of things but you know it, it it puts him by taking that sort of position that average position on thing it puts him at odds with the state party while the censure may not ultimately matter to tell us the act itself does not go unnoticed if you're not doing what these folks want you to do they might not be as supportive for your re-election campaign and so that has to be at least in the back of the mind of anyone who's a Republican elected official. In response, Tillis's office said Senator Tillis keeps his promises and delivers results. He will never apologize for his work passing the largest tax cut in history, introducing legislation to secure the border and end sanctuary cities, delivering desperately needed funding to strengthen school safety, and protecting the rights of churches to worship freely based on their belief in traditional marriage. Hetherington says this type of collective criticism is a national trend. You know, parties used to be organizations that were bent on, you know, getting people elected, not being the most, you know, sort of pure and extreme group. Um, uh, that's changing these days. And Russ, has this happened before? Yeah, and really not that long ago. Former North Carolina Senator and Republican Richard Burr was also censured by the NCGOP after he voted to convict Donald Trump during his impeachment trial.